trading strategies for Forex stocks, including Apple, Tesla, Netflix, indices, including SP500 indexes, NASDAQ, which is US 100, volatility, also the cryptocurrency, including Bitcoin, metals, we're talking about gold and everything that you might actually be interested in trading when it comes to trading uh, forex stocks commodity and remember when you're trading we're using what metatrader uh, 5 or, or metatrader 4 and the reason why we're using these platforms it is because if you're going to be using trading view trading view i don't recommend it because it's actually offering many uh, options that you can actually select a broker that you prefer or platform that you prefer however with the candlestick chart, you will have a challenge when it comes to trading with uh, trading view, because you are using trading view to analyze, but to analyze this 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 chart or graph. But when it comes to having an entry, it's gonna be a difficult uh, option for you to actually uh, have. Reason why, when you are trading, remember the spread in between uh, these two prices is actually what uh, making the the candlesticks color. If right now we're going up, the color is going to be uh, green or blue. Uh, or if we're going down, the color is going to be actually red. But the closing and opening of the candlestick will be affected because of what the spread. The spread of the broker that you'll be seeing on trading view is going to be a different story, right? And now, to get into the strategies that you actually need to understand in order for you to actually trade any asset under the CFTs and the CFTs we are talking about contracts for difference which is the agreement that you have with the broker that you will be using now we're using a uh, different uh, different charts we have different charts however I want to explain something here before we quickly move to another chart whenever you're trading we have what you call what structure in any business we have what we have structure after structure, we have what? We have time, right? And after time, we have what? We have price. And now, when we're looking at time, let me demonstrate this to you to understand. When we're looking in terms of time, right? Because my uh, doesn't uh, do well. When we're looking in terms of time here, we have time, as of, uh, pin, I'm pinpointing here, we have time. Uh, what's happening here? We have time, right? This is our time, which is we see all of us, and we have also price. Now, time I'm representing this time. Okay, one hour, H4, day one, one week, a month, and all these time frames, which is time. And we have what we have price. This is the price. This is the price. Everything that is here on the right here on the right, it's what it's the price. And also we have a price here for buying. We have price for selling which is the same price as this one right okay and as you can see for those who do not understand what's happening here you can see this price you can see this price you can see this price so this is the price for what for buying this is the price for selling with a lot size now since this is actually uh, the, the price we have what we have time we have structure structure we're talking about the chart pattern this candlestick that is actually what going up and so also what going down going up and down right and we have lastly the time that is actually here that we can see is 18 april 12 30 18 april 12 uh, 15 30 right which is we're in a chart of 15 minutes and every candlestick that we see here which is the pattern or the, uh, the not pattern the chart it's actually representing what 15 uh, minutes right every kind of stick that you see here is representing 15 minutes now to dive into this information and understand what is happening here how you can actually trade using it we have to do some bit of understanding in order for us to actually what trade and also in my actually lessons i provide you with uh, the candlestick that you can use in order for you to actually what trade the market and in this case i provide you with candlesticks or chart pattern for beginners for advanced traders to actually start seeing the light but how, however 
I'm only teaching you the task of the trial when it comes to uh, the entries uh, here with the strategy that I'm going to share with you now uh, so that you can actually gain a better understanding and for you to actually what to trade well. Okay, to begin, to begin, I uh, needed my actually something to write well here, but having some, okay, everything is fine now. Right, I mentioned that we need what? We need um, a, 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 a one, a two, a three, which is a trend line. And a trend line, we need the graph to be moving this way, this way, and this way going up. Meaning that here, we are what? We are buying. This is our buying position. All right? And also, we needed what? We needed one here. We needed two. We needed three. So, meaning that this is our number three. Let me just put it well. This is our number three. This is our number two. This is our number one. So, we need another trend line here. This is where we're actually what? Placing a sell. This is where we're placing a buy. Okay, I'm sure we actually have an understanding and we understand uh, the entries of a buy and the entries of a sell without any difficulties. If you have any difficulties, uh, please let me know on the comment section below so that I can actually attend to your comment. This is our buy. This is where we buy. This is where we place a sell. Now, this is a sell. This is a buy. When we're trading, to gain a better understanding of the strategies for trading any asset, this is gold, by the way, in M5, okay, which is five minutes. And this is the price, this is the chart, and also this is the serve as what as the structure and the time frame as you can see. This is five minutes, right? Under here we have the indicator which is RSI, and we do not use an indicator. I don't recommend it. Even if you want to use a robot, I don't recommend a robot. If you do not understand the risk management how it works what strategy is actually programmed to the robot now back to the our lesson of understanding strategies for you to trade the market well this is the number one strategy that you can use as a trend line though this strategy it's only only the piece of the pie remember we have a full pie we have a full scale but now you are, you are only learning this small scale right there are many strategies out there however those strategies they form part of the pie they are not a full pie, they form part of the pie, right? So do not be worried when I'm teaching you a, actually what? A trend line. There's a trend line, it works, right? It works however you're learning what? A piece of a pie, which is I need to be clear with you on that one. When you're buying here, uh, before we actually get to the strategy, I wanted to explain that the market has what has a uh, sites, has sites. And these sites, they create the combination combination to what to give signals or give a structure for you to get in and get out all right take in this way uh we have what remember this market is actually representing on what's happening in the economy and the economy has what has an up and has what a down under this up and down we have so many movements they're not just up and down they are ups and down that are actually what they include trending and in trading up, trading down. All right? Just like I've explained here. That you are selling on number three. Or you are buying on number three. You are selling on number three here. This is only piece of the pie. The sides of the market, how you see the market, how they actually, the central banks, they trade the market for themselves to make money. And how to actually understand what is happening. Here is what's happening. The central banks or the banks that are actually creating this market, they're using what we call an interbank network, right? On ECN, which is an electronic communication network that is used by what commercial banks. This is used by a central bank. Maybe let's say a bank A in America is communicating with B, is communicating with bank B in South Africa. These two banks, they what they want to conduct business, and if they conduct business, they are not using what. A, a, a manual system they're using sophisticated uh, algorithm to actually what make sure that if right now in a given day we open here we must also come back here to make all oh, this market is actually is a market that is balanced to balance the risk to manage risk to minimize risk so whenever we are actually trading uh, first thing first everything must be distributed evenly meaning that if right now we go down 
we must actually go up. And if we take a look at closer at life, life, life itself, life we are actually living in seasons. And these seasons, they will happen over and over and over again. Nothing is new. Nothing has changed. It's just that uh, those, those uh, situations or scenarios, they come with, with what, what I call a combination. And this combination respect the law of what? The law of a uh, cycle or the phases that actually has to actually uh, repeat itself one way or the other. It has to repeat itself. So now, whenever we're trading, this is actually repeating. So this is just a piece of a pie. Central bank will create a business to what? To actually make a minimize the entries. So now if you decide to buy and sell, whenever you're trading, if you decide to buy and sell, just know that you are actually setting yourself up to failure. You need to gain the training and understand the, and the movement of how the market works. All right because whatever that you learn you do not take it you do not take it to actual consideration in terms of what going there wanting the market to do this every now and then you do not do that because the market is actually what the market is actually a master we respect the market we don't misbehave if we misbehave then you will actually get the punishment all right so this is this is sight and I want to explain more on site. However, this lesson is going to be short. It's going to be cut here. Watch part two of this lesson so that you gain a better understanding.